From the very first time I watched the trailer, I already predicted that Encanto would be focusing on finding contentment in your simple self despite not being gifted as the rest of your family members. But I didn't expect to receive such a profound conclusion with its final song. Hi, I'm Zidney, and we should talk about all of you. So, you all know Encanto. Of course you do! Otherwise, why on earth would you be here? So Disney released Encanto last year and it received such high praise. And why wouldn't it? The story and the songs, especially the songs, are just so wonderful. While We Don't Talk About Bruno is such a musical masterpiece, there's one song I believe that's overlooked. And that's All of You, the final song of the film. I actually love all the songs in Encanto. I play it on repeat every day. That's okay, right? Anyway, even before the movie was released, people were already hyping over We Don't Talk About Bruno. I keep seeing promotional videos where Stephanie Beatrice and other cast members of Encanto tease about not talking about Bruno. Which I get why because the song doesn't really spoil anything but it gives a mystery like why can't they talk about Bruno? And this song surpassed Frozen's Let It Go. Such an achievement. Go Lin-Manuel! But right now, we'll be talking about all of you. Spoiler alert, obviously there will be major spoilers since I will be talking about Encanto's final song, All of You. Okay, so let me break down the song. Mirabel first talks about how their family is a glowing constellation, how they are full of stars and how everybody wants to shine. A constellation is a series of stars that form an image like the Big Dipper and the Bears, but then she thinks that stars don't shine, they burn, and the constellations shift. And for a lot of us, this is something new. We have always used shining stars as a metaphor for people who are at the center of attention. But what we don't see is that they also burn, they also get tired. And that's why Lin-Manuel's lyrics, how stars don't shine, they burn, is such a game changer. Because the family Madrigal, while being so helpful to their community, also gets tired. And we even hear this from Luisa in her song Surface Pressure that if she could shake the crushing weight of expectations, would that free some room up for joy, relaxation, or simple pleasure? So you would see that sometimes being the star is not easy. It's a heavy burden to be the one people who are always looking up to. You feel all this pressure that you should know what you're doing, that you should be strong. Basically, people have this idea of you, have all these expectations from you, and it's unbelievably tiring. And Mirabel reminds her family that they are more than just their gifts, which is reinforced by her abuela in the next section of the song. So Abuela finally apologizes for the trauma that she has caused on her family. She sings, I'm sorry I held on too tight, just afraid I'd lose you too. The miracle is not some magic that you've got, the miracle is you, not some gift, just you. I know that a lot of people mention that the Madrigals shouldn't forgive their Abuela just because she apologized. But the fact that Alma acknowledged her mistakes is already the first step to making amends. Yes, she can't turn back time and undo the trauma she has caused, but at least she's doing something from there on. And we see that she herself has also experienced trauma when she witnessed her husband getting killed. And then the miracle happened. And we kinda get why she wants her family to help the community because she's burdened with the fact that this miracle saved her so now she's gotta do her part. But again, this is not to excuse her but to show that she's learning to change her ways. Okay, so the next part is just cute. We see the triplets reuniting and we have this cute reference of Let It Go. And from this fort, we hear the different styles of We Don't Talk About Bruno or What Else Can I Do and just Lin-Manuel having fun. And then we hear everyone coming together to help the Madrigals. Let me just point out that when I heard everyone in town singing together, it made me teary-eyed. The community working together is such a wonderful picture of their culture. And even though the Colombian culture I know are the things I got from watching films and series, I have also experienced this sense of family community here in the Philippines. So for those who don't know, I'm Filipino-Chinese. 
Anyway, the sense of family community, we have a term for it. It's called bayanihan. Filipinos have this sense of unity and community and just helping one another. I've had so many stories and experiences about this bayanihan, and that's what I also saw in Encanto. When they sang, we have no gifts, but we are many, and we'll do anything for you. They're basically saying, hey, you've been helping us a lot, and we really appreciate you guys for doing them. Now it's our turn to help you. And it's not even in the sense where they're just returning the favor. It's the kind of love where you do things for your family. We're all family, and the people in Encanto is one big family just helping one another. And then the next part, we see the three sisters work together. And we also hear Luisa acknowledge that yes, even though she is strong, she also cries. And that's okay. What a wonderful message for all of us that it's okay not to be strong all the time. Then we hear Mirabel's parents just being proud of her. I know that there was supposed to be an extended version where her mom says that no one heals like Mirabel, and it's just so wholesome. And then the next section is just a cute moment for Dolores for finally shooting her shot. You go girl! Mariano finally sees Dolores. The main message of the song. Wink wink. Home sweet home, I like the new foundation. It isn't perfect. Neither are we, that's true. So again, we see Mirabel reminding her abuela that they don't have to be perfect, and that's okay. Just one more thing before the celebration. We need a doorknob. We made this one for you. A doorknob. Imagine how Mirabel felt when her family made a doorknob just for her. Remember that once a madrigal gets a gift, he or she also gets a door of their own. Mirabel has never had a doorknob, let alone a door of her own. And we see her family just telling Mirabel that they made a doorknob just for her. And this doorknob is not just for Mirabel's own room. This doorknob is for the whole casita. Who knew that a simple doorknob could hold so much meaning and emotion? And finally, my favorite part of the song that makes me cry every single time. We hear Mirabel's family singing how they see how bright she burned and how brave she has been. Imagine being invisible your whole life and then hearing this from your family, how they finally see you. I would have ugly cried then and there. And it goes the same for Mirabel. Mirabel finally sees herself, all of her beautiful self, and she finally accepts who she is, flaws and all no gifts and all. Director Jared Bush even said, Our story shows how one member of a family who feels the least seen can learn to see her whole family and ultimately herself. And you know, this song reminded me of the story of Hagar and Sarai. Let me read and summarize a little. Now Sarai, Abram's wife, had borne him no children, but she had an Egyptian slave named Hagar. So she said to Abram, the Lord has kept me from having children. Go sleep with my slave. Perhaps I can build a family through her. Abram agreed to what Sarai said. So they got married and Abram slept with Hagar and she conceived. When she knew she was pregnant, she began to despise her mistress. Then Sarai mistreated Hagar, so she fled from her. Then the angel of the Lord appears to her and tells her to go back and God even blesses her and her future son Ishmael. And long story short, Hagar concluded that she is seen because the Lord God has seen her misery. She even gave this name to the Lord who spoke to her, Elroy, which means you are the God who sees me. For she said, I have now seen the one who sees me. And this is a wonderful picture that you are seen. God sees you in your misery and he is looking with eyes of love. So guys, whatever you are going through, please know that you don't have to be strong all the time. That it's okay to cry. And if no one has ever told you before, that you are seen. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I actually have a lot of video ideas piled up, even ones that we've already recorded, but I just didn't have the time to edit it. 
But yeah, I really wanted to make this video about Encanto with all the hype and stuff. And of course, I was just discussing this with my sister about how much I love all of you and how it almost makes me cry every time I hear it. And then I just thought, hey, what if I made a video about this? And voila! Anyways, thanks again. Bye!